Hello rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're going to be continuing on with our City of New Orleans passenger train. We already built the locomotives and a basic passenger car. Now, we're going to be building this lounge slash dome car. So let's get right into it here. As you can see, I've added a second of the passenger car we've already built onto my train just to give it a bit more impressiveness and length when the whole train is done. So our first step is going to be to take a dark oak stair to be the coupler. Come to the back of the train and get it hooked up here. Underneath that we're going to put a dark oak fence gate to be the airline. Then we're going to take a dark oak fence and extend these fences out for the connected cables. Coming off that coupler we're going to put a 3x3 of polished black stone blocks. Then on the next block down in front of this, we're going to get a netherite on each rail to be the wheels. Delete the ones we use for placement, and an end rod for an axle. Then we need to do another one, but we need to bring it forward, so that there'll be a three block gap of space in between the wheel sets. So delete these ones, get netherite on each rail with an end rod axle again. Then we're going to take polished deep slate stairs and get them over here. And we need a row of five upside down facing this way here. In this middle, we're going to put three polished black stone blocks and then upside down polished deep slate stairs facing this way on this end. Then a polished deep slate slab on the outsides on the bottom hitbox, just like that. Then we'll come above here with polished black stone block and fill in this top middle three down to the end of this truck. Next, we're going to come down underneath this end with a dark oak slab. And on this bottom, we're going to put a five by three of dark oak slabs coming out to each side of the rails here. Make sure it's coming out on this side as well. Then up here, we put a dark oak stair upside down on the second block in on each side and surround that with brown terracotta on each side of that stair on both sides of the car. Then we're going to put an oak slab on the upper hitbox here coming forward to the end of this. Same thing on this side. Then we're going to take out orange terracotta, put one here and here, same thing over there, then one on each side of the end leaving the middle open and extend it out to the end of this on both sides. Then above that switch to brown terracotta. Fill in this end everywhere there's orange terracotta. Then we're going to start on one side to measure the length of the car. So we'll add another brown terracotta, three light blue stained glass panes, and a brown terracotta. Three more stained glass panes, and a brown terracotta. Three more stained glass panes in a brown terracotta. Then we're going to extend this brown terracotta out another 12 blocks so that it will be 13 blocks long in total. Then we'll switch back to our light blue stained glass panes, three of those a brown terracotta, three more stained glass panes, a brown terracotta, three more stained glass panes. Then in front of that, four brown terracotta, and we knock out the second one from the end. Now we'll come back under here and start extending out these three polished black stone blocks in the middle until we reach the end of that line of terracotta we just built. Once we've done that, we're going to come underneath this end, on the very end, with a dark oak slab. And underneath it, we're going to put a 3x5 of dark oak slabs, coming out to each side of the rails. So extend this across till it's sticking out, and same thing on this other side here. 
Then one block in, we'll put an upside down stair with brown terracotta on either side of it. Same thing on this side. Next, on the upper hip box of this polished black stone, we're gonna take out an oak wood slab and we're gonna run a line of slabs end to end on both sides of the car. Now we're gonna do our trucks on this end. So right in front of where these slabs are, we're gonna get a block of netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we're gonna leave a three block gap of space and another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Against these wheels, we're gonna put polished deep slate stairs upside down facing this way, coming five across and facing this way against these wheels. We'll put three polished black stone in the middle and a chiseled deep slate slab in the middle on bottom on the outside edge. And we'll have to go complete this other side. So a slab here, an upside down stair here, and an upside down stair here. Now we're going to come up on this end with orange terracotta and we're going to continue our orange terracotta down the length of the car here. Just keep bringing it down. When we get down to this end, we leave a gap here and one on the corner, then one here, a gap in the middle, two here. Leave a space for a door there and then we're going to bring it all the way down this side of the car until it matches up with the orange terracotta that we already placed on this side. Then on this side above the orange terracotta, we're gonna copy over our pattern of brown terracotta so it matches the other side. And just do it exactly the same as the other side. We'll go ahead and fill around those doors on the end. Then we'll come through on this side and fill in all our gaps with light blue stained glass paints. Same thing down here. Then we're going to come in on this end here. We're going to put two brown terracotta here and two on the other side, leaving a space for a door so we can have a door to that porch area. Same thing on this end. So two brown terracotta there there we're leaving an extra space because the porch is bigger on this side then starting on this end we're gonna take brown terracotta and come right across the end in the tops of these doors and then we're gonna put brown terracotta everywhere there's some below it so we're just copying the pattern up by one layer and over here we come right across the top of these doorways and across the top of the door on the end here same thing right there across here and then just copy our pattern leaving our spaces for our windows bring it right down this middle section here here and across that doorway and across this door then we'll come through all these gaps on both sides of the car again and fill it with light blue stained glass paint Now we're going to come down to this other end of the car and do the coupler. So take out a dark oak stair for that. Come right up in the middle here and get it stacked up to that second block. Delete the one used for placement and underneath it we'll put a dark oak fence gate for an airline. On either side of the coupler we're going to put a dark oak fence and on the outside edges a polished black stone button. We'll come down and do that on this side as well. So a polished black stone button on these corners down here. Now we're going to come down on bottom here, directly in front of the truck, because there's a tank on the bottom of the car down here. Across the bottom middle, we're going to put three upside down grindstones to represent that tank. Then on the outside edge lined up with it, delete this slab and replace it with an oak wood plank and another upside down grindstone 
under it. Then we got to do that on the other side. So come across and lined up with that. Delete this slab, replace it with an oak plank, and another upside down grindstone. Make sure it's facing the right way. Then we're going to come down and do the exact same thing on the other end. So come down directly in front of this truck underneath. Three upside down grindstones coming across. Delete the slab lined up with it, replace it with a plank and another grindstone. Then we'll do the other side. So lined up with that, delete that slab, replace it with a plank and hang a grindstone. Now we're still gonna be working under here and we're gonna come directly in front of that tank we just made and we're gonna skip one block forward from that and we're gonna knock out two of the slabs. Then lined up with that, we're gonna put polished black stone slabs, two rows of three coming across the bottom and then out to the side like that. Then we'll put chiseled deep slate in that gap. So there's like this box. Do the same thing over here. So extend these two slabs out. Put chiseled deep slate in there. Then we're gonna put a stone button on each of the chiseled deep slate blocks. Same thing on this side. Then we're gonna skip one block ahead in front of that. And we're gonna go ahead and knock out that slab. And we'll put a row of polished black stone slabs underneath, one chisel deep slate with a stone button. Come over and finish it on this side that same way. So knock out that slab, extend out that slab, put chisel deep slate in the middle with a stone button. Now we gotta do the other end, so come down to this end, skip a block, knock out these two slabs, skip a block, knock out that slab. Then we'll fill the bottom with two rows of slabs here, coming out to the side, and one row here. Chisel deep slate in those gaps with stone buttons on them. Then we'll go finish off the other side. So come over here, knock out these two slabs, and this one, Extend out the polished black stone slabs, put chisel deep slate in the gaps with stone buttons over. Now we skip two blocks forward from that box and put brown terracotta coming across the bottom like this. Out to the side so it'll end up being five wide. We'll come down, same thing over here. Two blocks forward from that box, brown terracotta coming across, and then come down the edge and connect it up here. On this end, we're gonna put upside down dark oak stairs coming like that. And then same thing on this end, upside down stairs facing this way, like that. Then we'll finish it off on the other side here. So we'll go ahead and pull our stairs out so it's coming to the edge here and our brown terracotta, and then bring it down to complete the box on this side and one more stair upside down right there. Now we're going to come on top of this on the end of the car with yellow terracotta and we're going to go all the way around the top of the car with it. Now we're going to take polished diorite stairs and in the middle lined up with the end of this window we're going to build a staircase that comes up four blocks tall. Then we can go ahead and come underneath here delete all these ones under it that we use for placement. Next we're going to take a wax cut copper block and on that second stair we're going to stack it up by three here. And We'll go ahead and make another stack behind it. Then we'll come underneath here with a polished diorite block, fill that in, skip a block, and make a 2 by 3 coming out like this. This is going to be like a little closet, so inside of there we're going to stack bookshelves to look like shelving units. We'll put a diorite across the top, leaving a 2 block gap underneath for a doorway. Then on the edge of these first three stairs coming up, we're going to close a crimson trap door on each one so it's like a little hand guard for going up the stairs. 
Now we're going to come down to the end of this side, skip a block by the door, two red nether brick stairs. Turn around, skip two, two red nether brick back to back, skip two, and two facing this way. This is going to be like the booths where you can eat because this bottom is going to be a lounge car with a little cafe in it. Then we're going to take out iron bars to be the supports for the tables and make a square of iron bars in between these seats. On top of them, we'll put a 2x2 two two of white carpet to be the tables. Now we're going to come down behind these stairs and build the restrooms. So right here, I'm going to put a column of three polished diorite. In that corner, we're going to put an end portal in there to be the toilet. And actually I'm not liking how much space that's going to leave in that bathroom. So we're going to do this wall in a different way. And we're going to go ahead and delete this column of diorite. So delete all three of them. Skip another block forward in front of that end portal and make a 2x3. Then another end portal, skip another block forward and another 2x3 so there's two bathrooms. Then we'll put two diorite across the top edge of each of these bathrooms. So we'll come around on the top of here, turn this way, and we're going to put an iron door for the wall portion and a dark oak door for the door portion that actually opens. So then you can fit through on the hallway and your bathroom's a little bigger. Now on that same wall the bathrooms are on in front of them, we're going to knock out this whole window. And while we still have our dark oak door, we'll come put a door on this closet here. Come back up where we knocked out that window, fill it with brown terracotta and put a two by three of brown terracotta coming out right here because we're going to build a little kitchen here. On this edge here, we're going to put a column of two smooth quartz blocks and then a smooth quartz slab above it. Then we're going to come around this way and place an iron door there. That'll be like the refrigerator. In this corner, we're going to stack up a column of blast furnaces to be the air system. Then two blast furnaces coming out along this wall like this to be the oven. In the opposite corner, put a cauldron, fill it with water, and hit it with light blue dye. Then put a lever above it, pointed down to be the sink. I'm going to make it daytime real quick here. So our kitchen should look like this so far. Then in between there, we're going to put two bookshelves to be like food storage. Crouch and put two detector rails on top of this oven to be the stove. One block up. Two deep slate brick stairs to be the exhaust hood. Come around the outside of the car, knock out the corresponding blocks to that, and put upside down stairs in there so the exhaust hood actually vents to the outside of the car. Above the bookshelves, we'll put white carpet for countertop, then two barrels above it to be cupboards, and then an iron trapdoor right there for a shelf. And now our little kitchen's complete. And on this end of the car, we'll build some more booths, so two red nether brick stairs there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to skip a block, then we'll turn around this way, two red nether brick stairs, then another one facing this way here, skip two blocks on this end and two there. Then we'll put iron bars in between there and carpet above it to be the tables. So now we have more booths on this end for our little cafe. Now we're going to come to the end on top here with jungle wood planks and we're going to start filling in the ceiling that's at the level of this yellow terracotta and just keep bringing it all the way down here. Come across the top of this kitchen. Across these bathrooms here. And then when we get to these stairs, we're going to bring it out one, two, three on each side and four and we'll come across on the fifth one. That way we leave a space to walk down those stairs. And then fill it in all the way to the other end of the car. Now we'll come around underneath here, through this door on this end of this car. On the left hand side, we'll stack a column of bookshelves to be shelving. On the right hand side, close a trap door to be a handbrake wheel. Hang a lantern in the middle to light this porch. Then we're gonna come in the actual car itself to light it. 
And on these first terracotta poles between the windows, hang a lantern on each side. Same thing here. When we get up here, we have to light the stair area. So I'm going to put a lantern right there. That's the closet. Don't need that. Come in this bathroom and hang a lantern in the bathroom. Same thing in this bathroom. Then we'll come back out of here. We'll put a lantern there. And there, so this kitchen's nice and lit up. Come down here, put one in front of that pole, one on each side in front of these poles, and we'll put one on each end in the corner. Then on this porch, we'll put one in the middle to light this porch. Now the whole bottom's lit up. Come out on the end of the car here, put an iron trap door over the coupler so there's a walkway, a dark oak door in the door space, and surround that with polished black stone walls. Then up on each top corner, we're going to put a crimson button for marker lights. Then we'll come work on this end of the car. So we'll go ahead and put an iron trap door down on that coupler, get a door in the doorway, and I was having trouble placing it how I wanted. I want it right out on the end here. And it did it again, so I had to turn this way. Now I got it right. Then we'll surround that door with a polished black stone wall so we have the nice walkway between the cars here. And then same thing, up in each top corner we're going to put a crimson button on each side. Then we'll come around and fill in our side door here. And we'll put two iron bars coming down on each side so there's grab irons to climb that staircase. We'll do the same thing down here. So put a door in there and two iron bars on each side of the staircase. Then we have to do this side, so a door, two iron bars here and here. And then one more corner to go here. A door in there, and two iron bars on each side. Now we're going to come on this outside top with brown terracotta lined up with the first block of that window and come five across here. And I'm going to test and make sure that works for the staircase, and it does. So we'll come back up here. And then down on the other end, we're going to extend it down till that same block. So we're just going to come out one block over the edge of this window, and then come across and fill in the rest of this box. This is going to be where the dome is. Then in front of this box, we're going to fill in the middle three with brown terracotta all the way to the end of the car. Then we'll do the same thing down on this side. So starting at the edge of this box, fill in the middle three to the end of the car with brown terracotta. Then we're going to come on this top edge with a dark oak stair, one of those, two cobbled deep slate stairs for a vent, then dark oak coming forward. When we reach this box, we're going to turn the end one so it wraps around the corner. Then we'll do the same pattern over here, bring it forward, two cobbled deep slate, and one dark oak on the end. Lined up with the deep slate ones, two rows of three iron trap doors, and one in the middle on each side like that. Now we'll copy this over here. So we're going to come and put dark oak stairs facing this way off this box, then turn and come sideways up to here, two cobbled deep slate, and a dark oak on the end. Same thing over here. Just copy that pattern up to finish off the top edge of the car here. Then come back here, two rows of three iron trap doors and one sticking out in the middle on each side. Now we're going to work on the dome. So right here in the middle, three light blue stained glass blocks. Same thing on this end. Then kitty corner on the outside, one like that on each side. Same thing here. In front of those, we'll put a single brown terracotta on each side. Then two glass on each side, then another brown terracotta, and fill the middle with glass. And we'll copy this pattern over here. So a terracotta, two glass, terracotta, three glass, terracotta, two glass, and another terracotta on the end. Then starting at the back of the dome, 
the side without the stairs. Put red nether brick stairs on each side, alternating with a block of space to be all the seats, coming forward to here. Then we're going to go ahead and spin around, and we'll fill in on sides of the stairs with brown terracotta, just so it's filled in and doesn't look like someone could fall down there. Now we're going to take out gray carpet and run gray carpet right down the middle of the dome part here. And then we'll take out some torches to light this area up. And we'll just go ahead and put a torch on each of the brown terracottas. Do the same thing on both sides. We want this lit up real nice so it looks cool at night. Then we'll do the top of the dome, so light blue glass blocks, skipping one block from the end, three of them across the middle, then three brown terracotta, two by three of glass blocks, three brown terracotta, three by three of glass blocks, three brown terracotta, two by three of glass blocks, three brown terracotta, and three glass blocks. Now we could be done here, but if you don't like how squared off the dome is, Everywhere there's terracotta, put an outward facing dark oak stair. Same thing on the other side here. Then we'll take light blue stained glass panes, one in each of these corners and three across the end like this. And then we'll do the same thing down here. One in each corner, three across the end. Then three up here, one here, one here. And then just come through and everywhere there's glass, put stained glass on this edge to give it a more rounded look. Just keep coming around like that. So it's up to you however you want your dome to look. And that's what it looks like when it's all done with the stained glass panes. And there we have it folks. We've completed this cafe lounge dome car for our city of new orleans passenger train i hope you like it thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and everyone have a great week stay safe out there rail fans